Well, <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> oh, so today we are going to be doing a little something different. We're going to be doing the H, or not HV, but an SV. As you can see, I've got some parts here. But before we can get working on this first, I want to say welcome back and somebody kick that button, please. <laughs> go so now <laughs> figured I'd try something a little different with the intro this time uh, so what we're gonna be doing today first off welcome back to more Imperion I want to say uh, thank you for coming back as well as for all of the support on the videos not just the Imperion but you know everything else we've been doing a little bit of Conan on the channel we had some uh, live stream space engineers love yesterday mmm all good stuff so <laughs> Anyway, if you're enjoying it, make sure you hit those like buttons and uh, be sure to subscribe for more. With that said, okay, what we're going to do today is we are going to be working on a small SV to get us around the planet as quickly as possible. Basically, we need to find magnesium. We're in a uh, pretty bad situation, honestly. We're down to under 400 bullets for the rifle, uh, just around 300, well, just under 300 for the pistol. And uh, yeah, so we're not in a good situation here. So what we're going to do is I've gone ahead and made up 50 blocks. We've got a spotlight. We've got five thrusters. There should be uh, there's one. There's supposed to be six. Did we run out of parts for? Oh, we ran out of parts. We ran out of copper. See, I told you I should have gotten more. <laughs> Oh, so what that means is we're going to go ahead and throw all of this stuff in here. This means I'm going to need to do uh, a night run on a copper mine. <laughs> Actually, did we have we even found copper yet? No, we haven't even found copper. That's part of the problem. Oh, crap. Okay. Um... Well, let's see. I guess I don't really need a descent thruster. <laughs> Crap. Oh. So what we'll do is, let's see here. What do we got? It's too bad we can't throw some of this stuff in here for copper, you know? Hmm. We do have this, so I'm thinking what we're going to need to do then is I'm going to need to pay a visit up here to the uh, research outpost, and we're going to take some of that apart. So I'm going to head over there. I'm going to start taking this thing. I'm going to start taking the place apart. Hopefully, we don't run into any drone problems, and we are going almost due north and a little east so I'm gonna head over that way I know it's a little bit darker on the screen than I would normally like to have it um, I will bring you back if anything exciting happens but it's really going to be just me hustling my butt over there trying to get the base taken apart maybe grab a couple of things out of it and um, heading back so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I think I'll do a quick cut. Don't forget, we are on our road to the Iron Man, Iron Survivor uh, challenge. We this, The challenge hasn't started. What we're doing for this week is with the series is we're just playing around with some ideas, you know, trying to get in that habit of doing what we need to do to survive and not necessarily being quite so flashy with stuff and just having some fun. So it gives us a chance to work on things and a little bit safer without worrying about being eliminated from the competition. Um, but when we get into the Iron Man itself, we will be doing some, pretty much the same stuff. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the quick cut and we will be right back. And we're back. So <laughs> just to show you exactly what we came back with, well, most of what we came back with, this is all the stuff component wise we were able to recover out of the base from the, uh, using the multi-tool to reclaim things. Uh, everything else was just like food, miscellaneous, like just really 
just junky stuff, you know, like wood and cement and plastic. Well, actually, we have some of the plastic here, but I just want to show you just that, like, five minutes of decomposing that place, deconstructing it, I should say, um, returned some pretty good stuff. I mean, we got 168 hardened steel plates. We can actually build pretty good stuff with that. We, that means we can actually make um, hardened blocks for our SV, which means we can throw armor on it as soon as we get a chance. But first things first, we want one of those. We're going to pick up the rest of this stuff. I went ahead and moved some things around the uh, the stone that I had. I went ahead and converted it over into cement and made the concrete blocks because we're going to make a little landing pad for the, uh, for the ship. So let's go here. That gives us six. All right, so that should get us going pretty well, honestly. And awesome. Now, I don't think there's anything else I really need for the ship right now. Um, at some point, we will need a hangar. But uh, we're going we're gonna to keep this as simple as possible. This is going to be one of those you know, minimalistic builds. Now I do have the, a blueprint from one that I did for a, the uh, speed challenge, the speed run challenge, uh, but I don't want to use that one. Uh, I want something a little bit more interesting. Oh, okay. It won't be much more interesting because it's still a minimalistic build, but you know, all right. So let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves we're gonna have to dig out a little bit it looks like okay easy enough so we do have oh you know what let's go ahead and I mean we're gonna have to we have to open this up a little bit anyway so we may as well get the resources out of it right There we go. Alright, so now we will grab a this. And what we want it to do is we want it to come out just a little bit. Because we're going to come across here. Now what I'm hoping for is that that's three, right? One, two, three. Let's turn off the jetpack because I'm tired of getting launched. And we're going to do one more on this side. Alright, so that gives us five. And then we're going to attach that a little bit better in the, the ground there. Now remember, structural integrity is an issue in this game, so you do want to make sure you are uh, keeping things secure. It's going to be a five by five. We're going to go down to there. Now that should be big enough to get our first SV going. And again, this is not meant to be something overly complex. Ah, oh, crud. Really? Uh, there we go. All right, so I ended up using a few extra blocks that I didn't really want to use, but that's okay. Because now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say, add another row here. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And then out here, we're going to do one as well. And for this one, we're just going to go ahead and cheat. Well, not really cheating, I mean, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing with it. And that should give us a pretty square area up there. We've got a couple extra blocks, so we'll go ahead and do that. Just to give us a little bit more stability up there. There we go. Now, just to make sure where everything is okay, look at that. 
perfect. And eventually what we'll do is we'll end up di probably digging this out a little bit uh, just to open that up once we have the bone, the bone, once we have the drone base taken care of. But now we've gotten this done. So we're going to go ahead and get the SV going here. Let's go ahead and place this down right so we are going to turn that off because it's going to annoy me otherwise. Ha ha ha. See? Nice and easy, right? Alright, so now we are going to go. If we need that. We're gonna definitely need those. We're gonna need those. Let's go ahead and take. Uh, you know what? Let's leave that off and we'll put that over here. Where's our RCS? Did I not pick up the RCS? Did I not make the RCS? Huh. Oh, interesting. Let's go make the RCS really quick. <laughs> Wow, that was almost a uh, that was almost a fiasco. Okay, it was a fiasco, but it's not as bad as a fiasco as it could have been, right? All right. So let's see here. No, I guess I didn't. Weird. I could swear I had. All right. Whatever. It's all good. Throw the rest of those in there. Throw those in there. Let's see here. Where did our? There it is. I want one of those. I think that is everything that we absolutely positively have to have. All right. Okay. So we are going to basically do this. Let's go to our RCS right there. All right, we are going to take our fuel. I'm gonna put one there, one there. We are going to take our, well, uh, did I not make air tanks? Oh, are you kidding? All oh, right, whatever. <laughs> we'll deal with it later. All right, so we are going to take you out. We are going to place you in. We are going to place you there. Place you there. We're going to re rinse and repeat on this side. And then once more. Hmm. Actually tempted to put them over on the sides here. All right, so if we turn that on, we'll be able to hover, but we won't be able to descend. So what we're gonna do then So we have hover descent, right and left lateral, forward, but no braking thrust yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Because see what I'm thinking about doing is putting one of these here. Put another one on this side and then we will have uh, basically move this one over to the side and put another one so if I make two more can I make two more I need to make let's see if we can make two more engines because if I can make two more engines I'll break the uh, the extra one down for parts do we have oh. all right so let's see if we can make two of those and we want two of those. And I could swear I had made those tanks, but I guess not. 
All right, and then we're gonna go 10 more just in case we run out. I'm not expecting to run out of power while we're out there, but you know, you just never know in this game. Right. Actually, you know what? Eh, we'll leave those here just in case I need to come back for them. How are we doing for O2? You've got O2. You've got power. Come on. We're waiting for that to catch up to us. No, we're gonna make while we are waiting. Drop that over there. We're gonna go craft those up. There we go. Look at that. Just one more. Now I'm only gonna put one of the, the oxygen tanks on here on the ship. The other one we're gonna leave here for now. We will come back for it eventually and it will get added to the ship. So we're just waiting. We're gonna need one of those. Grab a little O2 while we're waiting. This is why you never want to be in a situation where you're basically, you know, up against the wall for stuff because it's a bad situation to be in. Right. So let's go ahead and grab, you're coming out of there. Place one there one there and then we're going to place another one on this side I am not going to put a gun on this thing yet because well we have no way of making ammo for it anyway so it doesn't really matter so let's go and throw all this back in here keep those we're going to make one more of those okay so not too bad, not too bad. We were able to get a lot done so far today. Now, what I want to do is I want to get this thing up in the air, see if we can fly through really quick, and uh, hopefully be able to uh, find some copper and magnesium. Those are the two things we really need right now. And I'm not a big fan of being in dire needs of things, so uh, yeah. Now, what did we do with our... Okay, so we're going to go... Like so. And basically, this is really just to give us a little bit of protection in case we do end up in a firefight. Um, it is not meant to be the end-all, be-all... Uh, do I want to put it there? Alright, so we then come like a so. And you know what? Trying to decide if I actually want to put that in there or not for now. Let's. What is that? That's just our thrusters. Those are actually a little bit armored. So we're gonna go number five. Johnny Five is alive. All right. So we want that one. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I'll probably take it apart again when we get a little further along, but for now... Alright. That is... Something. I'm not sure if it's a good something, but it is definitely something. Alright. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. 
It's gonna add a little bit more weight to it, but that's okay. The, the, the ship is still light enough that it's not gonna be a huge issue. Or at least it shouldn't be a huge issue. <laughs> oh, you know what we didn't put on there? We didn't put the generator on. <laughs> See? Oh, man. All right. All right, well, in that case, there you go. Uh, yeah. That should work. Didn't put the oxygen tank on it either, did we? Did we put oxygen on it? Nope, didn't put oxygen tank on it. Okay, out we go. Actually, you know what? No, let's do this. And what we will do is... Let's see, is there any place down here that we can put an oxygen tank? Hmm. I guess technically we could put it right there. Can't loot with the uh, the remote anymore. <laughs> But that's okay, you don't need to, because we can get up here and do it. There we go. Alright, so, we now have a ship. Look at that. Actually handles pretty well, too. Okay, so, that gets us where we need to be. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this one here. I want to thank you all for, once again for stopping in today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit those like buttons. If you are new here or haven't done so already, make sure you do also subscribe. Uh, the likes, the subscriptions, and even comments help the channel to grow. And, well, you know, it's also an easy way to let me know that you're enjoying the content. Well, and that's what we're here for, so. Now, I am going to do a circuit around the planet, see if I can find some copper, some magnesium, and hopefully get some back to the base. There's some silicon. Like, one of the few things I did not need. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you back here next time for more Imperial. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs>